the wonders that exist in the far-flung depths of the boundless universe are often beyond imagination. But today, with the aid of advanced digital planetarium technology, many of these amazing objects can be experienced. We're going to take a brief expedition to witness some of those wonders. Starting from Science Museum, Oklahoma, within the Kirkpatrick Planetarium, we'll take a journey of the imagination and reveal, firsthand, sites they were only dreamed of in the past. Slipping the bonds of Earth, we move out into our solar system. Approaching Mars, we see a planet that's cold, desolate, and yet in many ways Earth-like. One of its most recognizable features is the huge crack running across its surface called Valles Marineris, over 1,800 miles long. If it were found on Earth, this amazing canyon would extend from the Atlantic to the Pacific across the North American continent, an immense scar across an ancient and forbidding world. The amazing ring world of Saturn now appears. Going in for a closer look at the rings, we can see that they're made of chunks of rock and ice that range in size from less than an inch to several feet across. The results of passing comets, meteors, and the ice geysers of its moon Enceladus. Once we enter interstellar space, we encounter even more awe-inspiring sights like the Pleiades a familiar cluster of young hot stars surrounded by a cloud of hydrogen gas that shines from the light of the stars embedded within it. Onward, even deeper into our galaxy, 1,350 light years from home, we encounter one of the great showpieces of the night sky, the Great Nebula in Orion. This is a vast cloud of hydrogen gas, 10 light years across, with many young hot stars being born buried deep within it. Here we encounter a vast ring of glowing gas, the remnants of the death of a sun-type star and appropriately called the Ring Nebula. These types of nebulas are called planetary because they normally appear round with a blue color, like a planet in a telescope. The discovery of planets around other stars is a hot topic in astronomy. A good example is the planet Janssen, which orbits a star called Copernicus, only 41 light years away. However, you probably wouldn't want a vacation here since the surface is entirely molten, covered in rivers of boiling lava and completely uninhabitable. Our journey now takes us to the very center of the Milky Way galaxy for a quick look at the celestial monster that resides there, a black hole. With a mass of four million times the sun, it's a part of our galaxy that should be avoided. Now traveling far beyond our galaxy, we have reached the end of our journey, flying through intergalactic space over 13 billion light years from Earth. Out here, the universe looks much different. For what may look like stars are actually individual galaxies, each with billions upon billions of suns all linked together in vast cosmic chains connected by gravity. This is the large-scale structure of the universe, that ever-expanding cosmos that contains all that ever was and all that ever will be. Perhaps trillions of galaxies on a relentless march from the beginning of time 13.8 billion years ago to the present. This is what we are all a part of and why our ultimate destiny lies within it. <laughs>